Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have Throwback Thursday to share with you. And <laughs> you might be thinking, hey, deja vu. Kim's got like this husky, manly voice. Didn't she have one of those voices like six months ago? You'd be correct. <laughs> I, um, it's, I didn't go to the doctor this time, but I can guarantee you I have laryngitis. This is probably one of the better days I've had to be able to talk. Um, it is frustrating and annoying for everyone, myself and anyone who's trying to listen to what I have to say. Um, I've had it for almost a week, so please do um, be patient with me because I this is the best I can do. So this week's Throwback Thursday is Lemon Curd and Rose Milk by The Bathing Garden, and it was chosen by Ter Teresa T uh, Til or sorry Ty for T I F O R two. So thank you very much, Teresa, for selecting this. So I received it, you can see I, was, I actually received it in my home on um, March 28th, 2017. And it's obviously the bathing garden. And the scent note descriptions are tart lemon curd, fresh cut roses, and rich milk. First of all, I would say get rid of the rich milk. Everything else about it, 100% yes. On cold, I really like this one. On cold, I got more of a lemon note on t like um, to sniff it. So, um, and because I'm not huge into floral. So I'd say out of a scale of one to 10, on cold, I really, I did like it quite a bit. I'd say I'd give it about an eight. But what was very interesting, and I did use a couple different melters um, to melt these. I um, used two cubes at a time in my warmer in my living room, two cubes at a time in my warmer in my kitchen, and two cubes at a time in my warmer in my bedroom. And, um, <laughs> And I got the same result. I'll tell you now, the scale went from one to 10. I had given it an eight. I'm dropping it down to about a five, maybe four and a half. And the reason being is, okay, we all know all those candles that have layers in them where you've got a layer of, let's say, a layer of tart lemon curd and then a layer of fresh cut roses. So you expect that, say, the top layer is the tart lemon curd, that you'd smell the lemon curd first, and then it would blend to a point and then become just all uh, fresh cut roses on the bottom in kind of like a candle that has layers. Well, this was a wax melt that has layers. And what was really interesting is that the way I put the actual melts into the melter, the I put like the, them right side up like the way that you would have seen it in this package so it was all yellow on top and pink on the bottom with sprinkles and all that stuff um so one would think that the yellow on top was lemon and the pink on the bottom was roses that's just like not necessarily the case and it could very well have been blended completely 100 percent but what happened was on all three of those warmers that i just mentioned i would melt this and for the first two hours, I would get this beautiful tart lemon, this yummy lemon curd tartness. Um, I wouldn't say rich milk, but I would say like a lemon curd. It was more of a richness about it, maybe a little egg, you know, what, to, what you do to make, anyway. I was definitely creamy, but I wouldn't say milky. I did not smell milk, which is good because I'm not a huge milk, wax scented milk. Yeah, anyway, me and my words. Um, not really into milk when it comes to a mean um, scent note for wax. So what I would get is for the first couple of hours was that lemon, like nice rich lemon, and then all of a sudden, bam, like punch me in the face, like Defcon Five, as I say. All of a sudden, those fresh cut roses sure, sure came out. I almost swore they came out to play full force, and I had to turn off my melters within about. Uh, about 45 minutes of its change. Um, so like I said, on all of them, they lasted about two, just under three hours for each time I melted this because I got the lemon, which I liked at first for a couple hours. And it's almost like that that's oil burnt off faster and then bam, hit you in the face. I got roses and I could only handle so much of it when it was almost straight roses. So that's why my review on this wax melt has gone down quite a bit when it comes to my like my scale of one to ten I did not enjoy it overall um, I wish it was more of a better blend I've never had this happen to me before where from any vendor actually where one note really really stands out 
And then all of a sudden it's just like gone. Like the door closed and then a window opened and another part of the house where the roses are growing right outside of it. And I'm like sticking my nose inside of it. Like it was just too much. If you like roses on the other hand, I would highly suggest lemon curd and rose milk. I really think that if you love your roses, you will love this. And I'm certain that its staying power would have lasted a heck of a lot longer than I gave it the chance to. Um, most of my bathing garden throw on a high side and for quite some time, even in a 24 watt warmer. So thank you very much, Teresa, for picking this melt. Unfortunately, it just didn't work out for me, but that's okay because what doesn't work for me? Hopefully I can help you guys out in the future. If you do have this in your collection, you love roses, maybe pull that out. Or if it comes out again in a collection down the road and that's something you'll remember and you love the roses, I would highly recommend grabbing this. So thank you again, Teresa, but that is a no for me. All right, so <coughs> as per usual, I think we have three more Throwback Thursdays before we go on to summer Throwback Thursday. So we have three more spring. So that's it. We only have three more selections. So we've got a couple of candles and a few melts. So as always, whomever responds down below in the comment section and asks for either a candle or a wax melt to be burned or melted, I will acknowledge that and I will either be burning or melting that choice. So let's start off with the candles. We have a Quise Sandalwood Vanille. We have from the body shop, Lavender Vanilla. This is a single wick. And from the uh, from Bath and Body Works, sorry. Pink Champagne, which is a old Paris candle. Let's see here. I'm trying to make it all pretty. So that one's done. All right, so let's go on to the clammies. From Sensationals, we have, wow, Woodland Magic. Better Homes and Gardens, ocean, wow, you guys, ocean, orange, yeah, it's so not even the same. Orange Buttercream Cupcake. Moon Garden. Better Homes and Gardens, Meyer Lemon Basil, or Basil. Better Homes and Gardens, Limited Edition Vanilla Bean Buttercream. And then we have this one here from Rose Girls, Peeps Cake Fluff Puffs. From Rainbow Melts, we have Tea Time, which is tea and lemon and sugar. From my friends Meyer and Kyla, I have Chunked Up Kringle Candle, or uh, either, I think it's a candle, um, of Lilac of the, Lilac of the Valley, or is it Lilac? It's very, yeah, Lilac of the Valley, so it's a Lilac scented candle. And lastly, from Sugar and Spice Soy Candle Company, Lemon Icebox Cake. And this is a scent shot here. So you guys, there we have it. There are the picks for this upcoming week's Throwback Thursday. Thanks again to Teresa for picking that wax melt earlier. As always, you guys, be safe, take care, and have fun. Bye, guys.